Welcome. Today we are going over section 4 on our ion sheet, introducing you to the quiz for this week. Section 4 is listed right here. It's the second row left side. <clears throat> this week's quiz will feature selenide, sulfide, peroxide chloride, radium silver, and zinc. Now, most of these ions will follow those rules that we kind of learned in the overview. There's only a couple of uh, new things that we need to learn. Selenide is a negative ion. It is in this section, which means that it's a negative zero, negative one, negative two. Ending changes to ide because it's negative. Se negative two. Same with sulfide, exactly the same pattern there for sulfur. Sulfide, negative two. Let's we'll skip peroxide, come back to that in a second. Chloride will be right here. It's in the negative one column, Cl minus one, so that trick works for it. Radium, the trick works for as well. Radium is down here, the alkaline earth metal group. It's plus two. Ending does not change because it's plus, it's a cation. And that leads us to two more, silver and zinc. Silver and zinc are in these columns here. We'll, you'll notice that we haven't learned any tricks for that column, so we have to just kind of memorize these. However, um, there are a couple of things that will help you remember the charge, if you like. Silver is plus one and zinc is plus two, as we can see over here. And if you can't remember that, if you mix those up, one way to do that is to look at this. First of all, uh, there's several tricks, all unrelated. You can look at Z. Z looks a little bit like a 2, and so you can think of it that way. So zinc has a plus 2 charge. Silver starts with A, A-G, and A is the first letter of the alphabet, so you can remember it that way if you like. A different thing that some kids do is they say 11 and 12, 1 and 2, the numbers of those groups. You can remember it that way if you, that's better for you. Uh, but however you do it, there's no trick for that. It's not like these things are always plus 1 or plus 2. That doesn't work that way. So you just got to memorize those. The other new one I would like to introduce you to is peroxide. Peroxide is O2, negative 2. It looks a lot like oxide. Oxide is O, negative 2. And so people confuse those a little bit. Um, what you need to remember about peroxide is this. This isn't a trick. This is actually where the word comes from. A lot of ions actually begin with this per prefix, and that's actually short for hyper. So you can think of it as hyperoxide. Now, what does hyper mean? Hyper means you're, if you're hyperactive, uh, then you're overactive. If you're uh, hyperglycemic or hypertension, uh, hypertension would mean that you have... Uh, high blood pressure and hyperglycemic would mean that you have high blood sugar. So that tends to mean over or more. And so whenever you think of it, and actually this is always true, a lot of these ions, whenever you get that per prefix, that means they have more. Well, more of what? Well, what they have more of is oxygen, always. So if oxide is O, then something with more oxide or over that's got too much oxygen, would have to have another one. And so instead of just O, it's actually O2. And with these PERS, the charge does not ever change. So that's a little trick that can help you remember what that means.